Howdy, howdy, everybody. Howdy, humans. Hope you're all having a good day today. Uh, sorry for the slight delay with me uh, starting stream. I had... I was literally about to hit the button to um, switch over. Only for me to realize that my mouth... That the mouth on my model... Um, it's like stuck open like this. Ian and I wasn't talking. It is stuck. I ish. It shock ash. Anyways. <laughs> so I had to reset VTube Studio real quick, unexpectedly. <laughs> Howdy, Miller. I'm glad to have you here, as always. Good to have you for the Harvest Still stream. Apologies to everybody for, um... <clears throat> I'm not going to sound 100% uh, today. Um, I feel fine. However, my voice, um... I got sick a second time in a row. I guess life had to be iconic there, but um, because of that, I'm a little bit on the raspier side today, and I may uh, just go to the side, cough a little bit. I'll try to mute. I'll try to mute best I can, like right now. <clears throat> yeah, just like that. Mm. But, um, yeah, the... Mm, the, my sweet chords are going to be a little bit on the not-so-great side today, so I hope you all will bear with me for that. <laughs> uh, but yeah, <clears throat> all that aside, let me go ahead and take a sip of Diet Pepsi. I don't know why, Diet Pepsi genuinely helps my throat. Maybe that's just my own placebo effect, my own cope for my um dietary choices. <laughs> Let's go ahead and switch over to the game, shall we? Go ahead, turn off my music. <clears throat> if you recognize the screen, that is because it is exactly the same screen that we left off of last time. Like, I never, I never closed the game. So yeah, um, frame one continuation of the, uh, of the playthrough. What the fuck is that button? What the Hold up. There's the... I have a strange loading icon next to my face, and that is not my thought process, despite popular belief. <clears throat> uh, Any but. Um, trying to remember what we were doing. We, I think we were grinding out um, healing items before we go to help Emo. Just one last time. I think that was it. Though all the fuss involving the mayor is over, the three children are still on bad terms. That's when Vent goes missing. Talk to Van and Malika in the Njord step. The voice from the well. Go to Hegan Canyon. I don't wanna. No emo cannot wait. The title is wrong. I mean, we'll get to her today, eventually. Kind of. <clears throat> Just give it time. She can wait. Just a little longer. It's super long, but... What is going on here? <laughs> Crap, we'd almost made it to Lath. Forgive me, Berg. I may not be able to take you back to your hometown after all. <sighs> Are you okay? Do I need to punch these? Ignore the sword, it's going away shortly. Hmm. Huh? Who are you? You're helping us? Thank you. What if I died immediately? Let's see, are you weak to this? No. There we are. Oh no, I didn't get to mine. How am I ever going to craft? We're alive. <laughs> Kneels down and picks you up with the force of fucking conformity to raise up as well. <laughs> Thank you for saving us. If you hadn't shown up, we'd already be inside those monsters' bellies right now. I don't even know where their mouths are. It's just a fucking pointy nose. 
<clears throat> Just trying to protect my pal here. A beast like that is usually no problem for me, though. However, I appear to be unarmed. Apparently, punching doesn't work on these things. <laughs> it's just a really sharp tongue. <laughs> nah, he was unconscious from the beginning. Oh, we haven't even juiced ourselves. I'm lie. And this is Berg for mercenaries. Rise. So that's the name of my life saver. Is it the fruit flavored or the mints? I'll make sure not to forget it. What's wrong? Oh, him? Don't worry about Berg. He's not injured or anything. He's just unconscious for another reason. Let's see. You ever gone without water for a bit? Probably because somebody named Li drank all your water. Yeah, that's what happened. Which way is it to late from here? That way? Okay. I'll just assume you turning around was you pointing in the direction of it. <laughs> I drank his water. <laughs> uh, ain't no way putting Mila in the game. Uh, I can show you the way if you like. Oh no, we'll be alright. I won't be messing up like that again. <laughs> Don't worry about us. We're big boys. And my big boys. I mean, a big boy and a dead boy on the ground. I'm gonna drag him by his feet all the way there. Face first. He's going to eat dirt and drink nothing. Cause I will drink everything he has. There's a hole in the ground. <clears throat> Rise, Malika, look! As expected, this spot here looks like it's been dug up. Dirt is chocolate flavored. I mean, you should know. Don't think, don't think I've forgotten what I drew back when you were a pirate. A pirate playing Tears of the Kingdom. I remember. I should make a new version of that, actually. <laughs> That's that, that should be the next doodle. I haven't done my doodle today, have I? Yeah, I haven't done doodle today. I should do the doodle uh, later. It will happen. Probably, it's gonna happen after stream, but it will happen. Eventually. We'll get your daily doodle, Miller. <clears throat> oh yeah, maybe he vented somewhere nearby then. Maybe he vented into the hole. Like Among Us. Oodles of doodles. You're getting a daily doodle until you get a job that you are happy with. At least as long as I'm able. I'll actually be going on vacation uh, a couple times at the beginning of uh, April. So I will not have my drawing tablet. No. I could do traditional. I'll probably do traditional. <laughs> yeah. Okay, never mind. You're getting... D in until my hands break. Or all pencils in the world spontaneously combust. All writing utensils of all kinds. You're getting a daily doodle. <clears throat> Lol, that'll be months. Fucking try me. Try me, bitch. Fucking try me, bitch. You think I can't do it? You think I can't come up with all kinds of stupid bullshit to put your fucking hate on the last looking head into? I can't do that. Bullshit. Don't tempt me. Because I've already been tempted. I'm already on it. Fuck you. But I also love you. Look, there's footprints over here. He was in medical before. <coughs> My head is not Hey Arnold shaped. Yes, it is. I draw it Hey Arnold shaped. So it is. <coughs> ah! 
Ag, these look like goblin footprints. If their footprints are so close together, that means the goblins captured him? Oh no, this is really bad. Goblins live in Jade Forest. Yes, we gotta go. We can't leave our friend in trouble. I guess we gotta get in the van and chase him, huh, man? They're all coming after me. They don't want to stab me with their pointy tongues. Look at them. Fading into the distance. How far are they going to follow me? <laughs> Pretty far. <clears throat> okay. Gonna do voice of the well another time. Let's just go save vent. Ah, the unicorn forest. I don't think I've gone to the unicorn forest yet. I should probably do that. I think I've just been ignoring it. <laughs> I'm in my way downtown, way downtown, way downtown. Way downtown. I ignore it too? Oh, okay. Why is it hard? Or do you just not like the unicorn man? <laughs> Alright, Mint. I don't want to be eaten. I'm not even yummy. They've waited a long time to heat him if that's the case. He's just weird, bro. I mean, true. Help, daddy, mommy, someone help, man, Malika. Sorry, kid, but given you did not scream my name out and um, complete another love for me, I'm going to leave you to die. In fact, I'm joining the goblins. You are now going to become our next meal. Don't ignore the people who are important to you or should be important to you. <laughs> Ah, fine. <laughs> Light circuit on fire. <clears throat> Almost there. Everyone all right? uh, no, I'm not all right. I'm hungry now. And Vant can't fulfill his purpose of being my lunch. Yay, you did it. That was so cool, guys. Thank you for saving me, guys. That rhymed. That's a poem. I'm going to be the next Edgar Allan Poe. <clears throat> yeah, vent is safe, so everything's fine now. Not. What do you think you were doing coming out here all by yourself? You're the biggest scaredy cat of us all. We were so worried about you, your mom, your dad, the whole village is looking for you. Sorry. You'll have to apologize to everyone when we get back to Laith. So what made you leave the village all by yourself? Oh yeah, we got told off so badly that time we went into the Jade Forest, don't you remember? <laughs> I was looking for this. The orange flash. It's gone now. And that's kind of what light does, it just kind of shows up and then it's gone. Photons in the atmosphere. This is a very pointless trip. Isn't that one of those pretty stones we found last time? Whoa, and you found two? Here you go, man. Huh? You're giving them to me? Yeah, that's what I came to get them for. I don't get it. 
I want us all to have something nice to remember before Malika goes away. Oh. I just have like one fucking kid voice right now. My voice is so limited in what I can do right now. <laughs> I don't want her to leave with us still fighting. Men. This is cute. It is cute. It is actually very cute. Vent is such a good boy. He deserves all the treats. Oh, this is the stone I threw away. I didn't want it to go to waste, so I picked it up. So here, I'm giving it to you again. Thanks, man. And I'm sorry I said some really mean things to you last time. I'm sorry, too. I didn't tell you I was leaving. It's okay. Just because you're moving doesn't mean we can't be friends. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Yeah, even if we're far apart, we'll still be friends. I'll definitely come back to see you when I'm older, okay? Yeah, we'll come to see you too. Going to Shatola will be a piece of cake for us when we're older. And we won't be scared of no goblins. We'll be cool like Rise and take them down without a sweat. Okay, guys, we should start heading home. Yeah, I bet everyone's still worried. Uh, why do we all sound the same? Ugh. <laughs> uh. I hope that's all I get. Haha, <laughs> you're so silly, panicking all of a sudden. You were doing so well until then. For a moment, you actually look cool there, Vent. Aw, oh, you're so mean. Here, come on, guys. Let's go. Rise is coming with... Oh, I hate how that... I hate how that looked. Rises. Rises. Oh, hello. Bye. Bye, have a great time. <clears throat> Going up here, going up yonder, still being followed, I was, there we go. <clears throat> Can't wait to yonder hill, wander hill, wander over yonder, it was a good show. I didn't watch very much of it though. Because they moved it to Disney XD or some shit. I don't fucking remember. Mm hmm? Rise, don't tell me you followed us here. Technically, this is true. I see. Well, thanks anyway. Though I have to admit, it's pretty embarrassing that a kid like you is worried about a merc like me. But I'm glad you're here, actually. We might have made it to Lath, but there's still something I need help with. I'd like to take Berg to an infirmary, but it's my first time here in Lath. He's actually conscious now. Turns out there was some dew on the grass when I was dragging him out of his face. So we just kind of slurped that up and that hydrated him enough. Kind of jealous of the fucking bastard. Getting a drink without me. <laughs> I'll punish him later. If you wouldn't mind, could you take us to a doctor? <laughs> I hate it. <laughs> Why don't you like this bit? Because it's accurate to you? Huh? <laughs> accurate to things I've drawn you with? <laughs> What? Why are you looking at me like that? A mercenary from Lath. Yeah, have you seen him around? Sorry you haven't had a chance to chat with him yet. Once he wakes up, you'll be able to talk to all your heart's content. But we need to get him seen to first. You lead the way. Show me the way. As they say it. VR chat.
Burr, eyes. You've brought the whole kindling. Good. Now what we need to do is get rid of this water and replace with gasoline and throw them in. I mean, what? Huh. Malika. Where were you? We were so worried. Sorry for causing you trouble. I know we're supposed to be leaving soon. As long as you're all fine, that's the main thing. So you're back, Bent. I guess you got ejected from a ship. You know, like in Among Us. My favorite level is the one with the lava. <laughs> yes, Mayor, I'll go now, Bo, but Malik is leaving now, right? Well, about that, I owe you an apology, Malika. What do you mean? Your move is canceled for now. <laughs> Lava, I wonder why. <laughs> because of Van and Vent's protest? I'm afraid not. We heard that there's been an incident in Shatola. So we decided to hold off the move until things calm down over there. Something about human trafficking. And a mermaid lady screaming out for some farm boy to come help her. Doesn't sound very family friendly. No idea what could have caused that. Uh, I had to cough. I caught that one. I'm trying to catch them. That's to my ability. Not very peachy. Pre pretty trauma-inducing, to be honest. I mean, I don't know. I think the kitties can take it. Builds character. <laughs> watching the mo watching the most morally depraved essence of humanity work its business lets you know the world ain't a pretty place, so you can navigate it better. <clears throat> Together again. Looks like staying here was the right decision. <laughs> they look so happy. <laughs> That's what Santa says. I burned Santa. He lives in a place with snow instead of fire. Kind of a cringe motherfucker, if I say so myself. And the kids lived happily ever after. And Emo was sold into slavery. The end. I got a Ratatouille recipe, though. I would say that's worth it. <laughs> Emo or Ratatouille? What choice would you make, chat? <laughs> <clears throat> so, so the, fuck, I completely forgot his voice. I mean, <laughs> oh, 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 your lack of a moral compass is killing me. Who a cute girl? I don't know. <laughs> Milla, if I could give you emo or all the food in my fridge, which would you rather have? <laughs> Fucking fine Dutchman voice. Uh, uh, thanks for bringing us here, Ives. We're finally here, Berg. We're gonna get you patched up. Let's go. I'm going to use you as a battering ram through the door. <laughs> I'm Rise. What brings you in here today? You're not going to suck at flirting again, are you? <laughs> it's us who need your help. I just smashed him onto this bench. I think it cracked a little bit. I'm sure he's fine. 
All right, I'll give him a medical exam. So could you put him in the back room for me, please? At least neither of you sustained any severe injuries. Considering you got pounced on by monsters, you're basically unharmed. You must be impressive fighters. Nah, I can't take any credit. If Raz had shown up, we'd have been dead meat. And somehow in those pointy monsters' bellies. More importantly, Doctor, how is Berg doing? I think he looks a little too cozy in this bed. Have you tried putting nails on it? <laughs> I can see that that fight was not the reason he's unconscious. Yeah, Berg was out of it long before that. We took on a request we thought we could handle, but it was ultimately too much for us. I see. So you'd run into a different beast before this run? Yeah. It took some damage too, you know. I'd say we were evenly matched. We lost something super important though. Ah, an identity. <laughs> I suspect that he hasn't regained consciousness due to the head damage. That's true. He did take a pretty hard hit to the head during that fight. I brought him here because I thought the smell of his hometown might bring him back. You see, Berg is a massagist. He likes pain. It wakes him up. I like pain too. Specifically when it's done to Berg. I like seeing Berg in pain. Yeah, I mentioned I'm on several watch lists. Hmm. I'll keep him here in my clinic for now. Okay, thanks, doctor. Say, you got any of those fancy little scalpel knives? I'd like to try one on Berg. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm about to try it. On second thought, having him taken the scent of his hometown might just work. You really think so? I do, and you know what else? I think hearing his loved one's voices might speed up his recovery too. Well, options are rather unscientific though. But you know what they say, the superpower of friendship. And we are in an anime art style. <laughs> Including a watch list for fish girls? <laughs> Raz, don't tell me you know who it is. You do? Great. Could you tell her that Berg is here? I'm willing to try all options. There's a chance of him waking up again. Thanks. Alright, let's go grab her. Let's go grab the crazy lady. Let's go grab the qua the crazy widow, not widow. Jump off the stairs because that's safe. Not go that way. Hold on, I need to get some dopamine real quick. It fills me with such joy! Can't remember where the fucking house is. Down that way. Jump up the stairs. Ugh. Oh no. Damn. I'm sad the store doesn't have corn dogs. Are you watching this in the middle of a grocery store right now? Milla. Huh. You and Cece, I swear to God. Cece watches me in the middle of his class sometimes, and now you're watching me in the middle of a Walmart. I assume. Just double checking everything out here. Wow, you did it! Minting Meryl level two, flower mill level two. Aldi. Ah. Out there. Shadow's favorite grocery store. I remember what he said. I am, I am at Aldi. I am, I am at Aldi. Fucking love that meme. Welcome back. I fucking love I am memes in general. I'm just getting warmed up. 
it's just such a it's such an edgy song so just like taking it and turning it into shit posts is like amazing three days until quietus quiet is i got a letter from asshole Iron Man level two. I don't have the materials for these. See you later. You're amazing. No, you're amazing. Shut it. You're more amazing. Everyone agrees. My backpack is full. <laughs> That's what everyone agrees on. An onion. God, I have so many fucking seeds. These need to go in there. Okay, we should be good now. Mimi and tomatoes. I don't like the way she said that. <laughs> Seems like Quietus is coming. The season of death where everything dies. Ooh. There we go. Okay, time for shipping. Death fun, the most fun. Death makes me so happy and excited for what's to come. Honestly, given Quietus is coming, I'm just going to put all that in there. Well, I can grow the carrots. And a little more wheat. And then switch to the wheat. There we go. You're my favorite carrot. No, you. You're my favorite carrot. You're my straw buddy. You're my cucumber. You're my Nemean tomato. And you're more stellar than that wheat. <laughs> There's a letter here for you. Dinosaur, unicorn cookies, you decide dinosaur. Actually, the unicorns probably have frosting on them. Get one with frosting, if one of them has frosting. If it's just the shapes, though, and there's no differences between them, then get, um, then get, um, dinosaur. There are your words of wisdom for the day. They both have frosting, so dino it is. All right. I finished preparations. Let's get into Heaven's Egg and see what's going on as soon as possible. Lucky nobody been hurt yet, but it's only a matter of time. What is going on? Whatever it is, we have put to start. We have to put a stop to it now. I'll meet you outside Heaven's Egg. Cheers, asshole. I'm so happy that Van and Ven said they didn't want me to move house. But I don't tell them that or they'll laugh at me. Thank you, Two Rise. You helped us a bunch. Come play with us again soon. Bye bye. I will never, t I will never speak to these children again in my life. Okay, but in all honesty, I think we might be good to just go straight to Shatola now. Welcome back. I think we have enough healing items.
Yeah. <clears throat> Double check my uh, backpack. I think we got one thing of vegetable juice. We have four vegetable juices. We got some stir fry. We got a lot of sandwiches. Late breakfast, ever sweet. We should be all right, I think. Take care out there. All right, we're going to do it. We're going to stop the slave trade. After five years, after I pet Miller Jr. Okay, now we're going to stop the slave trade. Bye bye. <laughs> Jill is so excited. <laughs> look, look, if we die while trying to save her, did we even really do anything? That's all I'm saying. Chronic saver, thanks to Skyrim. Da -da. Uh, dun, 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 dun. Time to go to the posh guy who happens to not be that much of an asshole. <clears throat> there he is. Are you ready to embark? All right, all aboard the Fia Sola. So how far is the summer seas light exactly? 10 years. 10 light years. Not that far, we need to plan our road carefully. Let us aim to reach the opening to the ocean source for now. We can figure out the rest later. Meep, emo. Ocean source. Otherwise known as a fucking trench. I think we're almost at the source. Meep. So did you hear about that one submarine that punctured? The one with the game controller? Yeah. Difference is we don't have a game controller. It seems to be calling to us, guiding us deeper. The theme is so good. It actually is. <laughs> it's just I'm in the same room as Mr. Fancy Pants over there. Okay, this is a really good song. This must be Lorelei's ballad, so it wasn't just a rumor. This is a song that dragged those boats underwater. Me. Well, luckily, we're in a submarine. It's built for being underwater. The deeper we go, it would be rude to keep the lady winning. I think I hear like 50 ladies. Time to go get a harem. <laughs> okay, maybe this is a bad idea. This is more than a little rattle, don't you think? Don't panic, the Fia Soda can handle the pressure. Huh? What was that? Uh, it looks like the hole detector has uh, detected an abnormality. Likely just a crack in the transformer. Just a crack? I said there's no need to panic. I'm, so, I'm certain we probably have nothing to worry about. Which one is it? Uh. I'll, I'll be sappy. Don't you dare. I don't want to hear any tearful last words. Meep, meep. Oh God, it's the Illuminate from Helldivers. 
I'm not ready to fight them yet. I, can, I, I haven't even gone up against the automatons properly. Ha, ah, it looks like we somehow arrived in one piece. I wasn't sure we'd make it for a moment there. <laughs> I honestly thought my soul had left my body. We didn't just crash and burn. No, no, no. We experienced some technical difficulties, but we... Oh, I had, I had to sneeze really quickly all of a sudden. Just double checking the mic is back on. Okay, that's good. Hmm. No, no, no. We experienced some technical difficulties, but we reached our destination in the end. Well, the peculiar destination is. This is certainly the ocean floor, but it has breathable air. That song. Is that Lorelei's ballad? It sounds more like an elegy. I haven't seen this place before either, but this must be the cool shrine. Home of the summer sea's light. And of Princess Emo and her sirens. The sirens? Me, me! Well, wait a minute, Roadrunner. Wily Coyote is gonna get you. I've read a great deal of books for the sake of research, you see. Naturally, someone is bound to acquire some knowledge. Anyway, I believe the exploring to you. I'm going to make some adjustments to be a soda. Let me know when you're ready to return to the surface. It's still usable? Well, if it fails, we'll at least have the honor of being the first humans to have crushed have to be crushed at the bottom of the world. I'm joking. We should be able to float safely to, to a place outside of Lorelei's influence. Now, take care and be on your way. Emo joined your party. I just mean, when Emo awakens hidden powers, you acquired the... The Wogland job class. A job that wields magic through song to support the team. It can change charge its normal attacks by holding the Y button. No, I'm sorry. I'm getting rid of asshole. Oh, wait. Okay, Mill, I'm sorry. I'm getting rid of asshole. There we go. It's fine. Girls are better. <laughs> Haven't you told me you had? Haven't you said on one of your streams you had your bi, but you have a preference for men? Or did I hallucinate that? A supportive role by allies and waves. No, you didn't. You sure? But I feel like I distinctly remember it. <laughs> the girls are pretty in this game, though. True. Very true. Creates uh, temporary lowers, targets physical attack. Shadow Walker. Oh, I thought I would still buy it. I do prefer men, but prefer fictional women. That is so fucking valid. <laughs> that is that is incredibly fucking valid. All right, there we go. 
Call Shine. That is fucking adorable. Okie dokie. Let's see what's over here. Cool leaf. As opposed to warm leaf. Mm. Alrighty, here we go. Time to fight the Illuminate. There we go. Ew, warm leaf. What's wrong with warm leaf? What do you have again in summertime? Hmm? There's that. I like that the fucking water creatures are weak to the water. Good to know we don't rely solely on Pokemon logic. Leaves aren't warm. Mila, I want you to go out during summertime and I want you to go feel leaf. That has been bathing in the sunlight. And then I want you to come back to me and tell me what you discovered. This is your homework for the day, Mila. Well, for the season. Do you accept? Your answers can be yes or yes. I'll take that as a yes. <clears throat> Let's circuit on fire real quick. I want my kindling back. <laughs> Do all that. And repair bridge real quick. Glad we had stones in that repair kit. Rock corn seeds. We do require sustenance. God, it's all, it, it has so much shit that it does. <laughs> Mountain stir fry it is. I don't want to use my big shit yet. Oh, they're little tiny versions of the guys we saw before. Oh, they're immune to the, uh, the thing. I really like this enemy's design a lot. It reminds me of, uh, it reminds me of, um, Golisopod from Pokemon. I fucking love Golisopod, dude. One of my favorites. I nicknamed mine Crush Station. I thought that was clever. There's a giant shellfish in the rocks. You look through an opening in the shell and see that there's a big shiny pearl inside. You could probably get the pearl if you stuck your hand through the opening, yes. The shellfish closes on your hand. When you try to take out, you still sorry to manage to pry, but you hurt yourself. But the cleaves to your sea black pearl. Worth it. Shall we begin? Big fish face motherfuckers.
Right, legitimately, this is just Glycopod, but in a JRPG. Well, a JRPG that's not Pokemon. <laughs> uh, though, I will say that we are coming up on um, our time for break right now. So, uh, this is going to be a great opportunity for people to go ahead and get some water, get some snacks, use the bathroom, do whatever y'all humans need to do. And as soon as we come off a little three minute ad break, we'll be right back with some more good old Harvestella. So with all of that being said, fellas, bye for now.
Howdy, howdy, everybody. Hope y'all had a good break. Hope y'all got done what you need to get done. I see Mila got done the whole uh, getting back to her home part of the day. So, congratulations. Hope you enjoy the food you got. Uh, just take a swig of my diet be beepus. Continue on my merry way. What are these weird fountain things? I demand answers. Bullshit. Oh, hello. Oh. I may need to heal up soon. There we go. There we go. Oh. Okay, that's fun. Copper ore. Cop this ore. Dog. I will never do that again. I apologize. <laughs> I apologize to anyone who had to hear that cringe. Alright, now I'm up here. Would like to doink veggie juice. Set circuit on fire real quick. There we are. More glowing liquid. <laughs> Look at him charge right at us upon him seeing <laughs> the his little. I see you across that bridge. I'm the troll. I'm the troll on top of the bridge. I'm going to get you. <laughs> Oh, that killed me. <clears throat> what is over yonder? Go. Now what? I guess he's just dead. Guess he's just stuck down there now. Goodbye. Bye, have a great die. Bubble. <laughs> Is something wrong, Emo? Emo's enraptured by the strange bubble. Meet, meet, meet! I see, I see. She says the bubbles were made by the sirens. Meet. And what are the sirens exactly? Do they live here? Seems so. They live their lives quietly, far from the affairs of terrestrial life. At least, I remember the Great Water Fairy mentioning that way back when. So what are the bubbles for? Meet me, me. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Oh, I see. These bubbles are called the Bulla. The Siren needs them to understand one another, or something like that. I guess you could say they're a farewell, they're like a farewell letter? A farewell letter? Huh. Is that emo singing, or <laughs> could at least maybe open her mouth for it? You're the one listening to the bulla, right, emo? <clears throat> if you can understand this, 
you realize you are the final siren. They're sorry, you must shoulder a painful fate. Ayo, hey, is she on that knuckle shit? I understand now. It was like a voice message sent directly to the brain. I felt like I was letting in something deeply occult, as though something was taking over me. But it seems like the bullet was addressing Emo directly. It said something about fate. Me, 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 me. She says she wants to ask the other bullet since they're all messages meant for her. By all means. Me, me. All right. I want to be on the other side of the store. You can't open it because it's locked. Tell that to a blowtorch. Get him! Bug him up! Rattle him, boys! Well, rattle him, girls! I'm on the verge of death! Must fight everything in sight. It's my calling. There we go. When I first start playing games like this, my first urge is to kill everything in sight. Blow up everything in sight, too. Oh! <gasps> Kunelu doll. I love him. It is. I know I said about fighting everything in sight, but I felt a little lazy in that instance. Call me a fraud if you wish. <laughs> That's some loud ass fucking humming. You hear a hoarse voice whisper. Nay. Emo, my dearest pupil, I never thought it would come to this. We sirens are now a threat to this ocean. Please, Emo, before the sea is filled with such a miserable melody. Dot, dot, dot. Was that a teacher or something? Me, 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 me. Maybe she can think, sing with her mouth closed. Other people can do that. Really? I need to look that up. Controlism, but for music. Yeah, I think it was her carmentation instructor. What's carmentation? Now the sirens communicate, like the voice in the bullet said. They cast magic by singing. Oh, that's actually kind of romantic. Uh, calm down, Arya. I don't think you're being rizzed. <laughs> Unless it's by me. In which case, you are being rizzed. Kind of. To be honest, Crest is in the lead right now. I'll be real. Estina's second. Estina's second right now. Emo might start shooting up once I can actually speak to her. Does a little girl when America's Got Talent doing that? Interesting. Now nah, I really have to look into it definitely listen to a lot of music during my research. How about you? I like music. <laughs> nice. I wonder if we have the same taste. I don't think we do. I'm that freak that likes to listen to video game OSTs and almost nothing else. Me. 
She says that she tried, but they always burst right away. It requires a huge amount of magical energy. It's not an easy thing to make, even underwater. That's surprising. Although, what would I know? It's not like I've ever lived in the sea. Alright. Let's get back to it. Let's get back to plot. Listen to idle music and video game OSTs. I don't really listen to idle music. Ugh. Trying to think. Besides video game OSTs, is what I tend to listen to. I know I listen to Breakcore occasionally. And a couple of anime openings. Oh shit, man. It's 10 a.m. I mean 10 p.m. Alright, I got I got a skedaddle. A skadoose. Gaskadoosh. Time to eep. Gotta get on that grind set. Ooh, we got a letter from wife. See you later. The wife that's in the lead, at least. This one's pretty urgent. Thanks to you, the mayor's back healed in no time. As it turns out, some and six are pretty effective in treating lower back pain. While I'm on the topic, I have another request. I need to discuss this one with you first. So would you mind coming to the clinic when you have time? It's important. Hold. Let me acquire the, the food. So many tomato. Ah, uh, backpack is for my ass. My ass! Okay, put that in there, put that in there, put that in there, put that in there, that in there. One in the storage box, one in the storage box. Rest goes in the shipping box. Oh, buddies, that, that. Here we go. Look at me go. Efficiency. <laughs> OMG, high straw, buddy. <laughs> bye bye. Just phase through Milo Junior's Junior's tail real quick. Perfectly safe. Don't worry. Anyways, we're gonna ignore Milla. We're, I mean, we're gonna ignore Emo again <laughs> to go talk to Cress. I'm sorry, me getting potentially laid just takes priority. I don't know what to tell you. Hmm. All right, let's see here. Hi, Rise. I take it you read my letter then? Did you want to talk to me? That's right, I want to tell you about something. I was thinking, it's about time I told you what my research is all about. You're really going to tell me? You've really been such a great help to me. Like, you've got me like... Five things. That's a lot of things. If I had a nickel for everything you got me, I'd have five nickels. 
which isn't a lot, but it means so much that it's happened five times. So I'm not going to keep it a secret anymore. Trying to find a treatment for a certain illness. The Quiet. It doesn't have an official name yet, so that's why I'm calling it for now. What kind of sickness is it? You know that dust that throws around in the air during quietness? The quiet is the sickness you get from inhaling it. Once it sets in, it progresses quickly. It inhibits, attacks the immune system, and inhibits healing, soon leading to death. Remember the first time I examined you, I said the dust would affect your health? I was talking about the quiet. I think I inhaled quite a lot. <laughs> Like I said at the time, you were fine for some reason. It can't be explained by current medicine. Thought you might have some special immunity, so I studied you, but... I left my scalpels in the other room, and I was too lazy that night. When did you study me? I took it upon myself. Sorry. You came in for quite a few checkups, so I just did it then. My ass clipped through my gown. <laughs> I'm just really determined to find a cure for the quiet. It's the best tribute I could pay to mom and dad. The disease that took your parents. Yeah, you guessed it. It was the quiet that took my parents away. They were originally the ones researching the quiet. So I decided to follow their path and continue their research. I see. My mom was the first one to show symptoms of the quiet. I was still a kid, so I didn't know it was so serious at the time. First, she couldn't stand on her own. Then, before I knew it, she was bedridden. But apart from being bedridden, she seemed normal. So I thought it wasn't too serious and she would get better. Even if not, I thought Dad could just cure her like he always did. But... Yeah. I stole her away, bit by bit, the warmth of her embrace, the kindness in her eyes, the love in her voice, all taken from her by that illness. Dad tried everything to save her, but in the end there was nothing he could do for her. That's when he gave up trying to find a cure. He must have been heartbroken. That's probably it died not long after mom did of the same disease. The irony, losing your life to the very disease you were trying to cure. Doctors can't cure everything. Those were his last words. This day, I still don't know what his intention was leaving us with those words. Maybe he said it knowing that I would become a doctor just like him and mom. I'm not just going to accept what he said. I'm not a kid anymore. I know doctors can't cure everything. That doesn't mean we should just accept it and stop trying. That's why I won't ever give up. No matter how long it takes, I will find the cure. And put an end to the disease that stole away my parents. Dot dot dot. Sorry, I got carried away. Sorry for trauma dumping in chat. Please don't man me. <laughs> I'll help in any way I can. Rise. Thank you. I think I've told you everything now. Thank you for lending an ear. Thank you for sharing that with me. Talking to you has really lifted a weight off my shoulders. It's true what they say. You shouldn't bottle things up. Now, shall we call it a day? I'll write to you again when something else comes up. You'll be helping me a lot more now you're involved in my research. I'm pointing at the ceiling. <laughs> uh. Yeah, no, Chris is definitely the one I'm liking the most so far. Maybe it's just because I'm that far in her stuff, but... Get to me require help. Let you know when the time comes.
We shall see. Hina's still competing. And so is, um... Emo soon-ish. Maybe. Probably. I don't know. <laughs> Take care out there. Take care out there. As in, take the rabbit. Oh yeah, I should, uh... Probably do this. This is kind of important. I almost forgot to do it. How long do these seeds take? Four days? Five days? God damn. Farm crop grows in summer, summer and fall, summer, more carrots. We do more carrots. Our ops. All right, there we go. We pet Milla Jr. And then we go on our way. So I can, can I just hop in here? Yeah. Cool. Yes, Milo Jr., my son. <laughs> we love Milo Jr. A mascot to, that could fight even little Rye. It would only be for a few seconds and then they'd lose, but they could fight him for a few seconds. It would get eaten pretty promptly, though. I'm just being honest. Then it set circuit on fire. Shall we begin? My mascot would win. <laughs> Milla Jr. is not just your mascot. They're our mascot. They're on my Harvestella stream. Just go around you. All the way around you. Give me a sec. I'm just going to stare at him while I wait for my urge to set him on fire. No, I'm talking about my actual mascot. Yeah, I would still lose. Little Rai just built different. What can I say? Who is your mascot again, Milla? I, 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 like, honestly, I'm. It's been a while since I've seen them. Probably just because it's been a while since I've been in your streams. My cat be. Oh! Gotcha. Lower, I would still win. I don't make the rules. Sorry. He's my sub badge. Oh, God, this really shows how long it's been, huh? It'll be remedied during the Donathon. All will be corrected. Speaking of which, um, surprised I have not done this yet. If you are not following my buddy Mill Mill, you better go fix that immediately. Because Mill Mill is a great person, a great friend, and she's going to be having a donathon soon, and you should go support her. If you don't, I will get you, I will get your organs, and I will sell them on the black market in order to give her money. This is a threat. And a joke. It's a joke. The threat is a joke. 
No. <laughs> yes. Give Mill a money. Forfeit all mortal possessions to Mill Mill. It's a command. And a joke. I'm the joke, you literally are not. I will fucking kill you. <laughs> Don't you dare say that about yourself. I will come over there and I will give you the biggest fucking hug imaginable. And I will break your fucking spine in half. With the sheer amount of incorrectness that you did. Do you understand me, Mel Mel? Do you understand the gravity of how wrong the thing you said was? Do you comprehend the sheer incorrectness that you are with that comment, with that statement, with that falsehood, that lie? Do you think about this? Nay, do not say such falsehoods about yourself again. Running out of things to say. Millie, you're great. So don't say you're anything but great. Emo, we may need to recite the Forbidden Nocturne. You ever played Ocarina of Time? Remember the Nocturne of Shadow. Not of Shadow. Nocturne of Shadow. <laughs> but our spirits. Please. Return them to the sea. Return them to the bola. You must. Flashbang. Now you're a blind bitch. <clears throat> Me. The Forbidden Nocturne? Of Shadow? From Ocarina of Time on the Nintendo 64? The Meeps really ruin the seriousness. It, they do. I have a feeling we can't defeat this one. It's unfortunate. This is a pretty serious thing, and then you just see fucking Roadrunner sounding ass emo over here. Just killing the mood for her own goddamn backstory. monster crosses your path it, it's proudly carrying a fish it's so pleased with its fish that it hasn't noticed you you want to fight the monster carrying a fish yes you should have to get its attention and raise a weapon the monster accepts your challenge it won't part with its fish that easy oh god <laughs> kill it <laughs> There we go. I appreciate it. Golden egg salmon. Good fish. Bombs. Lamp oil. Rope. Treasure chest. Sea tide garlic seeds. You want it, it's yours, my friend. So long as you have enough gorillas. Mm -mm. Your tummy hurt, cramps suck. Nah. I hope they feel better soon, though. I'll take some painkillers if you haven't already. Just rest and relax. Just you and some dino and some dinosaur frosted crackers. 
You gotta worry about nothing except how much I'm neglecting emo. Lorelei's Tears. What are these? Used in crafting the fortify weapons. Gotcha. Cool leaf. The opposite of a warm leaf, which absolutely exists and Mila is incorrect. The circuit thing ain't, uh, been killing, um, ain't been stunning them lately. No, I'm not. You are wrong, though. So long as summertime exists as a season, you are incorrect in this entire thing. I don't know what to tell you. Heat transfer, weather, basic fundamentals of life, they're all going against you here. You just choose to ignore the truth in front of you. More treasure chests. Also, eat sandwich. There we go. Like, thermodynamics are on my side, Mila. You cannot fight physics. Try as ye may, might. I was hoping I could keep bouncing off of it. Almost to the door. Up the steps without actually using the steps. There we go. Mining away. Are you fucking serious right now? Just use the same key, you dumbass bitch. It's not hard. Backpack is full, my ass. Just tosses the golden egg salmon. Um, get rid of... Monolite fragments. Now what is here? There's something leaning against the fence by the path. You look closer and see the accessory. Yes. This is belonged to one of the sirens who lived here. Ah. Uh, fucking really? <laughs> like, oh, I'm not by a save point. I, I left, so I can't fucking access my fucking bag. That's dumb. Well, I can't reach into my bag and grab a piece of cloth I just picked up. Come on. The 
appears I cannot cross this. Interessant. Do I have the ability to set Zirkin on fire right now? Yes, I do. Takes care of you. And turn you on. There we go. Now everything is as it should be. Thank you for the pets, Mila. I appreciate it. <laughs> Very sweet, and I love you. Uh. It wasn't Leo who did. It was I, your son. Uh, well, I take that back then. Get your filthy fucking hands off me, child. I didn't ask for you to come into my life. I didn't ask to pay child support. I didn't even consent to the circumstances that birthed you. I didn't consent to have my DNA used by the government. Coral Shrine Key 2. Ooh. -woo. I can't wait for this key to miraculously break into pieces once I put it in this lock. There we go. Uh, circuit is now on fire. Somewhere. Oh. After this fight, I'm just gonna have to um, book it. Oh, or not. The uh, next area is right over there. Not set circuit on fire yet. Never. I haven't gone far enough. This is to go even further beyond. Whoops. <laughs> Maybe I did take it too far. I thought I was keeping an eye on my HP. Turns out I wasn't. <laughs> Whoopsie doopsie. I made a fucky wucky. Cress is gonna scold me. Cress is gonna call me a dumb bitch. Oh, you're awake. Well, that's a relief. You passed down in front of your house again. Anyway, I'm going home. <laughs> Paid 550. My services aren't cheap. That's cheaper than some fucking seeds. Hey. See you later. I got a letter from it's Tina. It's Tina, it's Tina. I need your help. Again. I'm sorry for always calling you, but I'm <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry for fucking dying in the middle of a letter. I'm always calling on you, but I hope you come speak with me again. It isn't about being head teacher this time, but I'd still like your advice. Please, meet me at your step this time, not the orphanage. I'll explain why in person. I'll be waiting. 
Bro, these fucking tomatoes. These tomatoes are such a good source of income. Stonks. And they're gonna die soon. interesting to see that the um the reharvestables aren't forever forever I forgot that there was black pearls and stuff if it here there we go Miller Jr. Yes, make money. I am making money. I'm making mad stonks. And we'll never be poor again. We will never go hungry, except for the times when we do. We will never fall in combat due to a lack of healing items. We'll only fall when I just neglect to look at my HP. <laughs> Oh yeah, let me look at that accessory now. Fancy deadly poison guard ring. A simple magic swordsman ring. We'll give it to Tina. We'll give it to Estina. Or not. Never mind, we cannot adjust her equipment. Understood. <laughs> Ugh. None came out of nowhere. Making my way downtown. Walking fast. <sighs> Alright, this time we're just gonna book it past these motherfuckers. Good boy. Activate that. And are they following us? They are not. Congratulations. To me. My brilliant moves. Ah, Atlantis. It's dead. Philos Philosophical Hypo Center. <laughs> that is a name. Is this? Me. Let's follow her. Damn, she is fast, though. Emo. She could win American Idol. Hear a tender voice caress you. Emo. My dear, sweet Emo. Please forgive us for leaving you behind. That day the sea's light glowed fierce, that dangerous wall of light, the day the ocean's flame appeared. When we realized the danger, we knew we had to keep you safe and release you from the sea. See the way the ocean's flying, 
We sang the Forbidden Nocturne. But we could not comprehend the extent of the power it held. It was necessary for we sirens to sacrifice their souls. It was the only way. Now, our souls are combining with the flame. You must have heard it. Our requiem, our regret cries throughout the ocean. We are born of the ocean, and eventually we return as foam. If we were to neglect the ocean's flame, it would have destroyed the very ocean itself. Don't give me that shit about how water puts out fire. It doesn't apply here. The danger is not past. All our thoughts remain. The Requiem will not end. And we're getting noise complaints from the Pacific. The only one who can stop us is you, Emo. That is why we released you from the sea. You who are born of my blood, a siren skill in carmentation. I'm sorry I could not choose as your mother to inflict such a pain upon my own beloved daughter. So, you must decide. What will you do? Please end the siren song. I'm sorry for being a terrible mother. You're all taking your sweet time! Oh, what is this place? Has something happened? Have I barged in at the most inopportune emotional moment? Oh dear. Perhaps it's best we return to the fierce Sola for now. Emo has left the party. God damn. Fresh and a bitch. Fucking hide. <laughs> Fucking Heine. So, the Siren Settlement was destroyed by that event with the sea's light. Princess Emo, desperate to rescue her home, rushed to Shitola in search for help. Which is where she was apprehended by that awful landlord. Is that right? Meanwhile, the Siren sacrificed their souls in order to suppress that mysterious light. Poor Emo. Remember the bulla? What Emo's mother said? The regret of the sirens fused with the body of light that became Lorelei. I'm sure of it. That would explain the grief in the song we can hear. Emo's mother sounded so horribly sad. How cruel. The sirens' grief should be used by Lorelei to draw people to their deaths. When really it's the sirens mourning, wishing they didn't have to leave Emo alone. It sounds to me like the only way to stop Lorelei is with Emo's commendation. I really think you should shut up. I wonder what Emo wants to do. <laughs> like, literally, your voice is the ultimate mood killer. And I sound like literally every other female in this game. Because that Rise motherfucker only has one female voice. Sent the customers home as you requested. <clears throat> Thank you as always, bartender. The same for the lady, if you will. Sure. Poor emo. <laughs> Not much of a drinker. Alcohol has its benefits, you know. For example, destroying your liver. I find it can be quite useful at times when there's something you would much rather forget. Did you know I'm actually incredibly depressed? <laughs> I have an alcohol problem. Sometimes we need to learn how to negotiate with our pain in order to survive. But you never completely forget. The more you want to forget it, the more important it is to you. No, he actually is depressed. Yeah, I'm- I'm gleaning that. <laughs> and that's why you must remember it. You mustn't forget the pain or the sadness. The only ones able to remember those who are gone are we who have been left behind. Never forget them, and they will continue to live on in your heart. Don't you agree? 
We only die when we're forgotten. Our existence is fragile like the bola, which is why we must treasure it. For their sake, I think you can withstand the pain in your heart to keep the memory alive. Exclamation point. <laughs> Bartender, another round. I'm going to go drown my sorrows in alcohol and attempts at flirting at women. That's what you said to her? More or less. <clears throat> that Heine, he said he was going to check on her and still isn't back yet. Come on, Rise, let's go and see Emo. Look at all these fake gems. What can I check here? There's something I can check over here. Oh, it's the door. The door's fucking interaction box is slightly below it. My gently glows even if you touch it. Am I not able to save here? Weird. I guess I don't want you returning home. There you are. Neat. <clears throat> Bowl of that big shows they cared. Neat. So you've got to go and fight Lorelei. You've got to do it for them, only you can stand up to her. Counting on you too. Neat. Let's go back to the at the eight Lear. I'm sure Heine must be back by now. <laughs> Emo, join your party again. There we go. Do I have to reset my party or anything? So, are you ready to return to the Coral Shrine? Your soul is stronger than ever, so now I will be able to join you on your expedition. Wait, you can fight? Hey, hey, look who you're talking to. You must be sure not to get under my feet when I'm saving the day. I need to join our party. <clears throat> There's a meaning. You acquired the mechanic job class. Hey, yo, I can have a gun. Physical attacks on weakening enemies could charge its normal attack by holding the Y button. I might actually switch to that. If everyone's ready, I think it's time we made our way to the Coral Shrine. Alright. Mm. We do have another ad break coming up real quick. So we're going to go ahead, take a quick little breather. This is a perfect opportunity for y'all to get some water, get some snacks, use the bathroom, do whatever y'all have been see to do. And as soon as we get back, we may may wind up finishing off the uh the section of the quest and uh harvest stella today so maybe we'll have a boss fight i'll probably die i've used up a lot of healing items at this point <laughs> but yeah with all that being said uh, bye for uh, now
Howdy, howdy, everybody. Hope you all had a good break. Hope you all got done when you need to get done. Uh, but for me, what I need to get done right now is beating the shit out of some kind of sea creature. Do I have to? Oh, all right. That's how I board it. There we go. Make our way downtown. And let me double check our party. Yeah, I kind of need. And in need people. Um, job. Stage and lightning attack that launches energy directly in front. That. Panic. Crush the target with crushing attack. Temporary lowers target's physical defense. Oh man, this actually seems like right up my alley. Even more than Assault Savant has been. And I'll just go ahead and unlock that real quick. If you think guns cool, wait till later. I look forward to it. <laughs> there we go. Oh yeah, that's how I switch. Ooh, <laughs> I like this. Let's go try this out. <laughs> Tank, 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 tank. I need to stab things with a big piece of metal. You don't understand, it's important. What's the, uh,. The, um, it's a crushing attack. Doesn't Assault Savant have crushing? Yes. Just wondering. And mode change switches between, I promise I'll stop going to the job screen at some point. Sage or crushing. Okay. So this is raw crush power. Echo of the Bola. Okay. One, two. Six. I think we'll be okay. We might not be okay. Oh, this sucks. Never mind. <laughs> Take me back. <laughs> <laughs> I like mashing the Y button too much. <laughs> so 
So I'm going to be irresponsible and start speed running. Ow. Stay away from me. I do not want peace. This is a gun class that lets you mash, don't worry. Good. That's what we want. <laughs> And look forward to it. Whenever I get there. Oh, I got a cool leaf, but it's yellow. Why is it yellow? I don't know why it's yellow. Clearly, I should eat it irresponsibly. Clearly, there's no rarity to this whatsoever. I'm gonna wait till I get the ability to set circuit on fire first. <laughs> It means better quality, gotcha. Things are gonna fire. Ugh. There we go. Beautiful. Chest. Ladder. Dang, it's already 8.20 p.m. God damn. God damn. Irresponsibility, go. Oh. So much stuff. Run, 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 run. We got fucking emo over here with a road runner impression. We should be fine. Oh, he's coming. Other guy, not so much. <laughs> so going that way is ill-advised. Turn that way. There you go. Good thing I fucking brought the repair kit. But at least like a modus monolite. I have if a possible. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. y'all get away from me. Uh oh. All right, I need to use this. And all this leveling up, but I don't really feel stronger. Why it is day one. Tend to be irresponsible. Everything is dead. So there must be something I can find around here, right? All my things are dead. I feel like I can get withered crops. Wonder what they can be used for. We're 
Brings you a little money when shift dry. Plants don't seem particularly useful. But you can eat them for 10 health. Which actually ain't bad. A field, bird's eye bray. Oh, I just went and visited Christ right now. <laughs> just be like, hi, hello. <laughs> You wanted to see me right now, right? <laughs> Around this time specifically. <laughs> the time you told me specifically not to go out that time. That's what you wanted. Right? Right? <laughs> hey, CC, how you doing? Hope you're having a good day today. Oh, I go straight to Lathe. Interesting. I uh, got a history of menace. Woo. Hope you enjoy it. I assume that's a book, right? Yo, Quietus is coming today, right? Hurry home and stay put. <laughs> Quest is straight up like you under, you know what I fucking said, right? <laughs> you know what I fucking said, dipshit, right? That's funny. <laughs> Quietus. All right, that's it. I like that Miller Junior's inside. Makes me happy. Is there nothing I can fucking make? Let's see if I can, can't make more mountain stir fry with the shit I find around the house. I'm also using my brain for world building. I only tell my friends right now. Oh, I gotcha. Is it for a D &D, is it for a D&D campaign? I would ask for details, but you explicitly said that it is something you're only sharing with the friend in your group right now. I'm not sure if you meant friends in general, just friends in that particular group. Oh, it's not for D&D? &D? Oh, okay. You can DM it to me if you want, though. Friends in general by default. Alrighty. Yeah, definitely DM me if you want to, then. What do you mean my backpack is full? There's no such thing as a full backpack. I'll get to it when I can. Do got some stuff I need to do after stream. But I will look at it. And I will respond. I just can't promise I will have the most insightful commentary. Because <laughs> I am not a writer or a world builder. Maybe if I DM'd more often D&D &D and shit, I'd be a bit better, but... I need to track down Mushroom. I need to cook. Jesse. We need to cook. Basically, thing in a world where monkey people ride horses and dominate the planet for most of history instead of humans. Am I correct in assuming you are uh, world building this with chair right now? Because that sounds right up her alley. Because she's told me some stories she's written. <laughs> I only told her about it, so I'm correct. Understood. <laughs> like I said, that's right up her alley of the kinds of things she's written. <laughs> Running out of things to grab.
I need mushroom. It's very important that I have mushroom. Or I cannot make the star fry. I cannot make the fry stirred. I really like the quietest music, by the way. Is very pretty yet somber. Only fishing spots around here. Ugh. Kill with me. The idea for humans is they're tightly packed together into cities to defend themselves except for the bull riders who are the only ones who can kind of compete. If you really want to just... If you really want to use a specific kind of monkey, I'd use chimps. Because chimps are fucking ruthless. I guess technically chimps aren't monkeys, but shut up. <laughs> Like, like chim chimps will literally wage, like, plan wars on each other. That's just a thing that they do. They need tails not just for design, but for balancing on horse without saddles. Oh. I gotcha. We're going that hard on the world building. Understood. <laughs> fucking insufficient fucking stamina. Oh, I do have a mushroom. Never mind. I need my stamina to recharge. There we go. Can't jump off the cliff. This game sucks. That's a lie. They've been enjoying it. It's basically the monkey people are ancient Celts and ancient Germans throughout most of Europe. I gotcha. Fortunately, I can't get much feedback on that because I just don't know much about the history of ancient Celts or Germans. History was my worst subject. This is established Rizir lore. But more pastoral nomadic. That makes sense, I mean, given how mobile they are. The real question is, well, um, how did they, uh, how'd they get horses? And humans, and humans hug the Mediterranean in cities and try not to get their ships destroyed by rampant whale attacks. Is just every animal sentient? Is that the is that the premise? Or um, conscious, or how are the fuck you divine it? Only monk and whale, I think, for right now. Ah, I gotcha. Yeah, literally what you're describing is right up her alley. Ah, shit. I said literally. Hold on. There we go. <laughs> I gotta remember that. I might not have been keeping track. All right, there we go. Now I eep. Summer breeze, day one.
Are you taking good care of your flying bug friend? No. See you later. Mm -hmm. But there's also humans up north who avoided Monk and turned into North. Thank you for the head, Pat's Miller. Who also uh, turned into Norse elves who live in semi-magical late medieval empire. Oh, we're adding magic into it, too. <laughs> this is, like, like, with the addition of magic and elves, I think we're approaching... I think we're approaching the setting for a D&D campaign. <laughs> Or at least something that would be possible to use as a... Actually, hold on. More like a feel the force kind of magic. Ah, oh, okay. Welcome home. Let's get a few more uh, things pumping. Okay, grows in summer and fall. Summer, summer, fall, summer. Okay, all of these are summer. It is right now. Now we can have fun starting from the beginning again. I don't like this fairy. The more I hear her speak, the less I want to be around her. Do you want to work on the farm today? <clears throat> Anyways, humans figure out the Industrial Revolution after thousands of years and begin their counterattack against ancient monkey people. <laughs> they literally go to defeat the giant monkey man and save the fifth dimension. So by fifth dimension, I mean Earth. Thing for the story in my head is roughly 1903. I mean, that makes some sense. There would be a delay, absolutely. You can't you have a constant external force trying to fuck your shit. Mentions being around for 45 years and being integral to building outposts. <clears throat> Come to think of it, I don't think I've seen a land ship. Like IRL. Or how that would function. I just think of the sand ships from Avatar whenever I think of a land ship. <laughs> I'm gonna be real. The first look like metal tortoise shells. I have to look up. Oh, hi. The fuck was that noise? The fuck is that noise? Oh, you. <laughs> He's following us. Hold up. <laughs> He's following us. We aggroed him from above. It's great. Okay, I'm going. I'm going, I'm running. I'm running, I'm going. Okay, we were over there last time. He thinks. Yes. Eat that, and then start running. Book it. Book it. So yeah, go to that bridge. Go to by... This route. Ow. I really want to 
I'll try and get the boss fight done before I end stream today. That guy sucks at his guard duty, I'm just saying. <laughs> that guy sucks ass. Okay, then I'm almost back to where we were. Oh lord, oh lord! I fucked up. The water gone, you can now rock across the bottom. At least that ended the cut. At least that ended that encounter. <laughs> that was... Very close. Oh lord, okay, let's catch up on chat. First of all, ML torch shells with musk holes, because the humans are also the only ones with guns right now. Monkeys are flabbergasted. What the fuck is gunpowder? <laughs> so human, no horse. Monkey, no gun. I mean, interesting. The humans also got land ships, so I think that might out. I don't know, man. I think horses can only carry you so far, literally. And figuratively. I am hitting my desk so much right now. I have chips again. My art is at my art. My doodles are relevant right now. <laughs> Milmo got the Dorito. What kind of chips you got, Milmo? What we rocking? My way back over there. Okay, so just go straight through here. Making my way downtown, walking fast, walking fast, walking fast, walking fast, walking fast, walking fast. There we go. Takis, she got the Takis. Are they the blue Takis? There are blue Takis, right? I didn't gaslight myself into that. That was meant to be a gift for someone. Could this belong to one of the signs we live here? Yes. What? They're dead. Mm. Mm. No red blue talkies exist. All right, <clears throat> dude. I am okay. Hold on. I need to talk about this because I've never seen anybody else bring it up or experience this in my life, but. There was, I've only ever seen it once, and I did eat it, because my mom bought it for me. Um, there was a mac and cheese by Kraft that, God, I need to be able to find it. I know I found it one time. That... It was a SpongeBob mac and cheese, and the cheese was fucking blue. And I know it existed. SpongeBob. Like, it wasn't like blue cheese, like the actual cheese. No, the cheese was just blue. Blue cheese. I'm not schizophrenic on this shit. I know I found it once. Wait, did I find it? Yes, I found it. I found it, I found it, I found it. All right, hold up, hold up, hold up. I'm pulling this up on stream just so nobody can say that I'm delusional. Browser. <laughs> Oh, bless me. Ah, shit. Hold on. Copy image address. There we go. Why? Oh, my God. Why is it like this? But no, like, look at it. Y'all see it. It's real. I had it as a kid, as a child. New ocean blue. Yes, the cheese was fucking blue. 
It was so fucking cool. I thought it was so cool and wacky and all that shit. And I never saw it again anywhere. They've never done this again. I knew I wasn't fucking crazy. <laughs> Because sometimes I felt like I was. Like, did I imagine this shit? No, I didn't. It was real. Ugh. Anyways, that was what blue talkies reminded me of. Take care of that real quick. Yes, your eyes were real. <laughs> are you blue mac and cheese? Oh no, man. The only thing that are, the only things real to me are blue mac and cheese. <laughs> to be honest, crap was bought a while ago, so they may not do that stuff anymore. True. I have a feeling we can't defeat this one. Ready, go. Go, go, go. Hello, 229. Oh, that is a fucking baller design. My dad worked at Kraft. I have insider deeds. Forget my dad works at Nintendo. My dad works at Kraft Mac and Cheese. <laughs> If you aren't pulling my leg, Mila, ask him about the blue mac and cheese. I need to know more about it. I need to know more about the blue SpongeBob mac and cheese. It's for science. He works at Costco now, gotcha. But dude, that fucking design kicks ass. We'll consult him tonight on it, thank you. Let me know the results. God damn this design kit. I'm sorry, I'm in awe. You don't fucking say. <laughs> mm, I wonder what's what what weird thing could be up ahead right now. It, it's a fucking mystery. Rise from Harvestella. <clears throat> The arcana is by which all is revealed. So this is Lorelei. Song is so sad. <laughs> Meep. Look at all the hands, bro. I know. <coughs> <clears throat> I understand how you must feel. That's why you have to fight, right? We would need the power of Emo's commendation to defeat Lorelei, if I remember correctly. Are you ready? Me, me, me. This is emo song. <clears throat> Time for some kick-ass boss fight music. Here it comes. All right. Good thing it's weak to crushing. Oh no, it's the end of Dragon Guard. Just keep wailing on it. Oh my god. Get out of the way, get out of the way. There we are. Got one break. There's so much shit going on. 
There's so much water. Hoenn ain't got nothing on this shit. That joke's still relevant, right? Oh god, oh god. How do I get out of here? God, how do I get out of here? Oh, I have to defeat the Bola. I don't think I'm gonna have time. This is bad. It's learned how to aim. Yeah, I keep everyone alive. Got break, that's good. Oh god, it learned drown. Oh god, it's Tina. There you go. <laughs> Double break. Just keep punching it. Oh god, Tina died. This ain't good. Oh god. I'm trying my best. <laughs> No. I'm almost there. Oh, Tina's back, yay. There we go. Oh, that was way easier than a dragon. Holy shit. <laughs> Don't you dare. I am not ready for phase two. Its wounds are healing. How are we supposed to beat this thing? Meep. The Bola. My dear sweet Emo, can you hear it? The Bola's song I taught you so long ago. Do you remember? You must sing it now. Sing it so we sirens may return to the sea. Yes, and the nightmare. You must walk beyond the stream. Me. Emo Gohan, you have to do this. Bring the Cerveza Crystal. I don't understand that joke. But the phrase made me laugh anyway. <laughs> hey! 
Who popped this? Who blew this button? I should have. That joke did not work out as well as I thought in my head. Never mind. I should have said that like a million years ago. I should have said that joke a million years ago. But you know, it still applies that any bu bubble blowing baby leaves will be beaten senseless. Because that's what we just did. <laughs> Don't bonk me, CC. I tried my best. Hello, Destiny Island. You did it, Emo. I only waited until we got back to Shatola to tell you this. Meep, meep, meep. <clears throat> really starting to feel like I can understand what she's saying. Finally, does this mean my work here is done? Can I take a break now? Farm work is murder on the lower back. Everything is murder on my lower back. There you are. <clears throat> Tiny, you took your time. What was the minor business you had to take care of? Actually, I had a transaction to complete with a wealthy benefactor. I'd say it I went pretty well. Mimi? What benefactor? Well, he's of the rather nasty sort. I don't imagine you'd like him either. Wait, did you just... Yeah, Heine, were you able to understand everything Emo said just now? That I was. This linguicide really is a fascinating device. I understood Emo perfectly. To the wealthy benefactor? Bingo! It was the tavern landlord. I bought the contract he held over Princess Emo. What? He was quite happy to trade his one measly stone for a bag of prettier ones. It was funny, really. The man looked positively giddy. His hands were filled with such pretty stones that on closer inspection, no shopkeeper with a discerning eye would ever bother to purchase. I wonder what had gotten into him. Fuck, man, I'm actually starting to like Hein now. <laughs> He's actually a, a pretty cool dude. Me and Arya are on the same page. I don't think I've ever received such high praise from a lady. You got your econ brain to like his charm. Anyway, Princess, I believe this linguicite belongs to you. The bartender took care of your contract, so now you're free to do as you like. If there's anywhere in the world you would like to see, the choice is now yours to make. Maybe hear the sound of your voice? I love ellipses. Wah. Wario! <laughs> Just she starts talking like Wario or Wallow EG. Hine is actually well written. I'm excited to see reacting story. I'm excited to see it too. Want to join? I want to join you. Rise, is that okay? Of course. And it's decided. It's a pleasure to have you on the team. The patrons at the tavern might be sad, though. What with us stealing their diva away? Well, with Lorelei taking care of, one would imagine they'll be too busy getting back to work on the sea. But I want to keep singing. I like the customers, and I like to sing. I know it's selfish of me to ask, but you don't mind, do you? I don't see why not. I'll be too busy with my investigation some days anyway. Everyone needs a purpose in life, right? Which reminds me, Hein, can I borrow your submarine to research the sea's light some more? But of course! Anyway, Rise, I'll be working on my atti- My atti- That word. So if you need anything, then let me know. I'm sure there will be a great deal of excitement to look forward to with you lot around. Mm. Could you feel them? Yes, I could. I can still hear them now, inside my head. 
But I think that might just be because I didn't take my heads this day, my meds today. I will never forget them. Emo has gained the skill English. <laughs> Emo has gained bilingual. Because without me, there will be no one left who can sing their song. So anyways, are you like single or no? Too soon? Okay. Damn, my wrist was so bad it broke the game. <laughs> Bolo's Requiem complete. God, there's still so much left in the game. <laughs> if Aria is like game completion, we got so much left. God damn. Oh shit, there's more. Time travel, you say? I've heard of stranger things, I suppose. We've been keeping we've been keeping this a secret, so please don't go telling anyone. I wouldn't dream of it. I was puzzled by the way your knowledge surpassed even my own. You being a lady from the future explains that fairly well. I appreciate you being so open-minded. So it was you who extinguished the philosophical flame. <clears throat> Aria, get back. You're a... Uh... What would an omen want with us? Want? No, you're simply at a location I intended to be. Having the philosophical flame to extinguish, I must say that's quite a waste. A chance for you two to finally achieve significance squandered. Philosophical flame? Are you talking about the light that created Lorelei? I remember you. <laughs> I see. Now that is funny. Indeed, the flame belonged to those who rule over the world's laws, born from human intelligence. Its purpose was simply to generate energy for all eternity. That was the philosophical flame. Fuck the first few laws of thermodynamics, we don't need that shit. You mentioned eternal energy. Is that what was causing Lorelai's wounds to heal? I like this own voice you do, don't get used to it. It's partially only being this good because I'm sick. And my voice is raspy as shit right now. Did you omens cause all of this? It was you who destroyed the Siren's home, wasn't it? It was a simplistic notion. It was really observing how events would unfold. It was not I who created that creature, nor I who summoned it here. It was not enough to help me achieve what it is I crave. Nonetheless... Hold on a second. You've been listening all this time, but we don't even know who you are. Do you at least have a name? Very well. If that is all you need to know, I am Weltgeist. I'll expose the deceit behind the sea's light and build a true world upon this star. He does have a pretty sick fucking design. A lot of the omens do. The fuck? The fuck you doing here? Yeah, we'll, 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 we'll figure him out another time. Cause... This is a good place to end off for the day. It's a mermaid rise. I ain't smashing that. I ain't smashing that like button. I'd only want to smash the dislike button, and we don't have that anymore. OMG, he's so hot. Didn't know you were into ugly bastard, Noah. Did not know in the slightest. Ah, okie dokie. Let me turn. Let me switch this over to the chat and get the music back on. <laughs> I'm playing. <laughs> I thought, I thought you were saying you were playing the game. <laughs> sure, yeah, we're. <laughs> Alright, let me switch back over to the chat and turn music back on. Bada bing, bada boom.
There we go. All right, let's find ourselves somebody to raid, shall we? Is that time of the day again? I think I might know who we're raiding, but I'm going to see if I can switch it up a little. Just a smidge. Um, do a refresh. Also check the Twitch homepage. Just make sure all my options, all my bases are covered. They were not. <laughs> um, hmm. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I want to catch that. Hold up. Hold up. I know who we're raiding. I know exactly who we're raiding. We haven't raided her in a while. <clears throat> so, um, we're going to be raiding uh, Church today. She's currently playing Nancy Drew and the Curse of Blackmore Manor. I the love of her Nancy Drew stream, so I really hope y'all will like them too. From what she said, this is her uh, favorite Nancy Drew game, so... Should definitely be a good watch just on that alone. I'm definitely going to enjoy it. <laughs> but, um, yeah. As for what's happening the rest of this week. Um, Ace Attorney tomorrow. So we're going to be taking care of that. And then we're also going to be going ahead. And on Thursday, we'll be working on uh, our comp for a certain cool clever stone in chat right now. Because he threw money at me and now I am obligated to draw for him. So, uh, yeah, not much more I can say in regards to that. One thing I do want to say, though, why, why, sorry, lied. Um, coming in the future, there's a chance I'm going to need to um, take off and unexpectedly either delay or cancel stream because I need to visit an observatory for my astronomy class. And the second there's good weather on a night, I'm probably just going to go do that. Can't really plan for it because it's fucking weather. Just a heads up for y'all in the future. Maybe it'll be this week, next week. I don't know, but I need to start doing it soon. But yeah, thank y'all for stopping by. Hope y'all had a good time. Hope y'all have a good day, night, afternoon, wherever you are, whatever the fuck you're doing. And y'all have a good one.